The Red Rock Black Baja style upper grill that we have here today is currently one of your most popular options available for the 2013 through 2018 Ram owners who are looking to change up the front end of the truck and add some signature lighting at the same time. Now the Red Rock will combine that injection molded ABS plastic mesh build, of course that gloss black finish, for right around 250 bucks. Install is gonna get a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here, guys, taking a couple of hours or so to knock out from start to finish, as we'll demonstrate later in the video. All right, guys, so as I just mentioned, the Red Rock that we have here today is easily one of the most popular in the category for the Ram trucks with an overwhelming number of four and five star reviews that really back that statement up. Now, the reason being, at least in my opinion, it's gonna deliver a killer look in bonus LED lighting, but at a very affordable price point. Now, if you've browsed the site a good bit here for a blackout grill option, chances are you've stumbled on quite a few, but in my opinion, the Red Rock is going to deliver that very popular combination of the black Baja mesh off-road, whatever you wanna call it, styling, but with that amber LED lighting up top here in one great looking package. Now taking a closer look at the build, you'll notice things are pretty simple, right? You got that injection molded ABS plastic build all throughout, uh, both the mesh and the surround here, which have been finished off in gloss black, but it is paintable by the way, if you ever did wanna match maybe just the surround or everything to the same color of your rig, just know you'd have to get that prepped and painted on your own time. Now the grill has been designed to factory specifications using OEM CAD data and is meant to be a complete replacement, meaning there's no need to hack up your factory grill. Uh, everything is going to bolt right up without issue. And it actually will open up a little bit more airflow to the front end of your Ram out there, which is always a good thing for cooling. Now on top of that black mesh Baja styling, guys, Red Rock is also going to kick in those three amber LED running lights up top here, which is certainly going to kick things up a notch over the standard Baja style grills. And it's a look that I would say has been extremely popular as of late, not just with the Rams, but pretty much every truck out there. Now those LEDs do include all of the wiring uh, needed to tap into your factory headlight harness which at that point will illuminate those amber LEDs whenever your parking lights or your headlights have been switched on. But speaking of getting everything wired up here, guys, now we wanna show you just not only the wiring process, but also how to get the grill itself installed on your Ram at home. So without further ado, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown now. Tools used for this installation, clip removal tool, Phillips screwdriver, 3 8 extension, 3 8 swivel, 10 millimeter socket, 3 8 electric impact gun. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to uninstall and install our replacement grill here for a 2014 Dodge Ram. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna to do to uninstall our grill is we're gonna open our hood. We're gonna remove our front rad support cover up top here. We're gonna take our push clip removal tool, pull this up, get this out of the way. Then we'll get to our four bolts up here and remove our grill. I'm gonna take my clip removal tool. We're gonna get underneath our push clips here, pop them up. Once we have them all removed, we'll just remove our rad support cover. So now I'm gonna take my 3 8 gun, my 10 millimeter. We're gonna remove these four bolts here to hold the grill in place. And once I have those bolts out, we'll be able to just remove our grill and pull it off. So we're just gonna now remove our grill. I'm just gonna give it a pull pop it like that and off it comes. So now we have our old grill out, we're gonna install our new grill. We're gonna to have to do some table work on this grill. What we're gonna to have to do is they gave us some brackets here that we're gonna to have to install. There's one here, one there, one there, and one there. We'll have to screw them in. And then we have two clips here to put in place. And then we have our wiring harness for our lights. And what I'm gonna show you how to do that is we're gonna put some spade connectors on these so that we can plug these into our harness and then we'll be able to install our grill. So now we're going to install our brackets. I'm just going to take them like this, put them in place. The two longer ones are up top here, like that. Then we have the two corners. They're just going to sit and tap and push down into place like that. Do the same on this side. Now, once we have them in place, we're going to take the Phillips head screws that are supplied in the kit and we'll get these started.
And there's gonna be two in each bracket. Same on the ends here. And again, we have four more, so we're just gonna put them in, use our Phillips screwdriver, install these over here. Two more on the ends here. Now that we have our brackets in place, now we're gonna work on putting our clips in the ends. So now we're just gonna install our clip like that. So now we're going to install our spade connectors onto our wires, just like that. I'll take my crimping pliers here. Crimp that one. Do the same for this one. Push it through. Take our crimping pliers and crimp it. And now with that all done, we'll be ready to install our grill. So what I had to do was to be able to hook this up is I had to remove my headlight. Now to remove the headlight, you're gonna take this bolt out here, this bolt out here. There's a clip underneath here that you're gonna pull down, uh, reach through the wheel well right up in here, you'll be able to see. And then you're gonna to have to get in here to your turn signal light. And that's right here in this corner. And you're gonna to have to put and tie into the two wires here for your running lights. These are gonna get hooked up to those. Now in our vehicle, we already have connectors because we do this a lot on these vehicles. So I'm gonna be able to tie into this black wire and the white wire with the orange and then put these two on it. And then these lights will come in with our driving lights or running lights on. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to hook them up. Then we'll put the headlight back in and then we'll install the grill. So now we're gonna take our two spade connectors that we put on earlier. And we're gonna tie these into the connectors here. And once we get them done, we're going to reinstall and push back our headlight here and put our headlight back in the vehicle. Like that. So I'm gonna reinstall our headlight bolts in place. Put the one in the bottom. I'm gonna take my 3 8 gun with a 10 millimeter. Tighten these up, and then I'm going to put a swivel and an extension on my 10 millimeter with my gun. Get in here and tighten this one up. And you're just going to want to repeat that procedure, but uninstall the headlight just like that and that way you can tie into, and then we'll run our wires and now we'll reinstall our grill. So now we have our wires hooked up. I'm just gonna tuck the excess wire down in this slide right here, this spot. And I'm gonna reinstall our grill. Start by getting the bottom piece um, into the spot there where it's gotta get pushed in. Put our top piece in place. Once you get it down to there, you'll be able to tap it in like that. If the air dam, ours is bent down a little bit here, I gotta pull it up so I can get it into place. There we go. And then just tap the bottom in. The top will stay right where it's at. We'll line the top holes up with the grill, put our bolts in, and put our cover back on the top. We're gonna start our top four 10 millimeters up here. Once we get them all started, I'm gonna take my three, it's going, my 10 millimeter, tighten them up. Next, we'll put our rad support cover back on. 
Now in this case, you're going to install the upper top ones, these here, and put these down into place. Push that one down. And that'll wrap up this install. That wraps up this review and install of our Red Rock Baja Upper Replacement Grill Gloss Black for 1318 Ram 1500s, excluding Rebel. Thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.